So at the moment, guys, we have max recovery and max intellect, right? Now, if you're going to be trying out this build, you don't even need this because you're going to be having the super extremely fast regardless. Now, as you guys can see, I'm running bad juju. Now, that is for more super energy. Granted, you don't have to use this. You can use any other exotic, but just because how this subclass works, you will literally have the same effects that any triple 100 stat build, apart from you want to focus on recovery because none of these things really affect your recovery as much as the recovery stat itself, unless you're using, for example, Crimson. But even then, if you're running away from someone, Crimson is not going to do you much. But if you have max recovery, it will add you survivability, will have more rifts and so on. So this subclass right here, Attunement of Control, is the only subclass in the game that will give you that neutral game that literally brings you the same effects as triple 100 stats. And I'll explain to you why right now. First of all, we have Chaos Reach. Now, this super has something that no other super in the game has. There's only one that comes close, but even then you need an exotic part. And that is the Hunter Middle Tree Arc, where you can cancel your super and keep some of your energy. But you need to equip an exotic for that. For this subclass, no, you don't need it. It's just a natural thing. You can cancel it after you get a kill. You keep your energy. That alone can get you anywhere from six to eight supers every game if you play it right. I've gotten seven, but you can do eight. And the time I got seven, I didn't even have like a crazy game. It was like a 35 or something. And I still get, got like six or seven supers. So that's crazy. That is how strong this neutral game is for the super. Now, is that where it ends, Pip? Absolutely not. Okay. Now, let's take a look at the ball of lightning. This is a melee. Not that great. I'm going to be honest. I'm not a big fan of it. But if we move on, right, and we take a look at Pulse Wave, being critically wounded triggers an energy wave that boosts your and ally speed. Now, if we're talking competitive play, we're talking trials, comp whatever it is, this comes in handy more than you can imagine. Like people don't realize how good this can be. You get hit and you're moving super fast. So that's where your mobility comes in, not just for you, but for your teammates, right? But this right here, ladies and gents, is a complete game changer. And this is what like separates this subclass from any subclass, not only on the Warlock, but in the game and it's Ionic Trace. Defeating enemies has a chance to create Ionic Traces. Collecting Ionic Traces grants energy to all your abilities. Now, please keep in mind, it says a chance, but it is, I guarantee you, more than 90% of a chance that this Ionic Trace gets created. It gives you all kinds of energy back. So this is what I'm talking about. If you're playing the subclass right, and if you're getting the kills, you don't need to have triple hundred stats when it comes to discipline or strength, for example, right? And the reason for that is the amount of energy you're going to be getting from Ionic Trace is literally crazy. So do you need triple hundred stats for that? Not really. You can play that middle tree. Once you master it, you will be getting crazy amounts of energy back from literally just killing stuff. Another crazy benefit that it has is that, for example, if you're running this exotic right here, in this case, is its transversive step, you can always swap it for Geomax. So you're always going to be getting the extra 30% at the end of the super, 25% for free. All you got to do is sprint. So right there, you already get the fastest super in the game, period. Nobody's going to be getting it faster than you if you do it right. Unless you're just standing there and everybody's killing you, of course. But if you're doing okay, you are going to be getting very fast supers. No matter how top tier your intellect is, is on a stasis, you will always be getting faster supers on your light ones anyway. So that's a huge plus. That means that every time you have your super on the subclass, you have the potential to shut down any of the stasis supers, including the hunter one that jumps up in the air. You can just get them out. Very easy to kill Warlocks because they have very low mobility. And it's pretty easy to kill the Titans. You just need to touch it for a second. They get destroyed. The super is very strong for shut, shutting down Guardians. Once again, it takes time. If you master it, it's very strong. Let's talk about how you can make this build even better. Double Bombers. If you're running max recovery, which must is a must on any character you're playing, in my humble opinion, that means that you're going to have your Rift every 41 seconds. Now, here's the crazy thing with the subclass. For this subclass, that is actually not true. You're going to be getting your Rift probably every 15 to 20 seconds, maybe faster if you're killing stuff. Because of the Ionic Trace that I just talked about, because it affects your class ability, your grenade, your melee. If we're saying that we get our class 
ability every 15 to 20 seconds. That means that we're going to be able to rift every 15 to 20 seconds. And that means that we're going to be getting another huge chunk for, of our grenade energy back every 15, 20 seconds in combination with Ionic Trace. So I'm telling you right now, guys, if you're, if you're a Warlock and if you currently don't have Triple Hundred stats, try Middle Tree Arc. Just try it. Master it. And once you go on those streaks of killing people, the amount of energy you're going to be getting back is absolutely crazy. You're not even going to need triple hundred stats. Not having those triple hundred stats can be dealt with. And the best way is this subclass in the whole game. It is the middle tree Stormcaller. Obviously, once you get it, it will even be better. So the build that will get you as close as possible, chat, to triple hundred stats without having triple hundred stats at the beginning, if you're a new player or returning, 100% if you're a warlock is middle tree arc. Oh.